In this video, I'll solve question 5 of the Cayley Olympiad paper from 2022. The Cayley Olympiad is sat by students who've done really well in the UKMT's Intermediate Maths Challenge. It's aimed at students in Year 9 in England and Wales, or students ages 13 to 14 if you're comparing with other parts of the world. Depending which year group students are in and how well they've done, they might progress to either the Kangaroo rounds or the Olympiad rounds, can be the Grey or the Pink Kangaroo, or the Cayley McLaurin or Hamilton rounds, depending uh, what year group they're in. These are some of the most challenging problems for students of this age group, and unlike the uh, intermediate math challenge and the kangaroo rounds, the Olympiad rounds do require students to give full working in their answers. So this question would be worth uh, 10 marks uh, in the Olympiad round. The best way to practice for these competitions is to head over to courses.mathsaurus.com where you can try one of my free preparation courses. So you can work through this question and all the others in this paper with video hints as well as solutions. And there are also courses for the Intermediate Maths Challenge, for the Kangaroo, for the Junior and Senior Rounds and loads more over there as well. So do head over there, totally free to sign up, no payment details are required to access these free courses with the UKMT questions. So I hope to see you over there at some point, but for now let's get on with this question right here on YouTube. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So I was slightly in two minds about how to go about doing the solution to this question because there's loads of ways you can do it and also some sort of dead ends or they're not really dead ends but there are cases that turn out not to be that important to the final answer but they probably are ways you would think about this problem and very natural things to think about so we'll have a look at them you'll see what I mean as we go through um, so bear with me and we'll get to the important parts of the answers pretty quickly. Uh, so we want these a, B, and C to have one of the numbers being the sum of the other two. Uh, so there are kind of three cases to consider, right? In the first case, uh, we could have C is equal to B plus A. So if I just substitute that in, I get AX plus B is equal to B plus A. So AX um, is going to just be equal to A. I can divide through by A because A is not equal to zero and get that x equals 1. So that is an integer solution. We found a possibility. And to be fair, even if you don't get the full answer to this question, you get some credit for going down these routes and coming up with some of these uh, possibilities. Uh, and case 2 um, is b equals c plus a. And again, if I uh, substitute that in, we've got ax uh, plus c plus a is equal to c. This time I subtract the C and also the A, and that gives AX is minus A. Divide by the A again to get X is minus 1, because A is not 0. So I found two possibilities, and reasonably interesting. But this is a bit of a diversion, because as you'll see, the answer to this question is actually that uh, you can get this to work with any integer value. And that's much easier to see uh, when uh, actually, it's, well, it's, it, once you know that that's the answer, it's much easier to try and find uh, that answer, I think. But all of the possibilities come from the third case. So in uh, case 3, where we've got uh, A equals B plus C, it's actually possible to make any value of X work. So actually cases 1 and 2 are sort of included uh, in here for free as well. So it doesn't matter if we didn't consider them. Uh, so if A is B plus C, let's uh, substitute for B this time. So B is going to be A minus C. Uh, again, loads of ways you can write the answer down here. This is just one that I've chosen. So I've got AX plus A is 2C. And this gives me A times uh, X plus 1 is equal to 2C. And I'm just going to write this as C equals A times X plus 1 over 2. And now what I'm going to do is defi define a sort of uh, procedure, right? So uh, step one, I'm going to choose uh, any value of x. Step two, right, I'm going to choose uh, any, well, okay, so um, this is what possible integer values of x, so I mean uh, I'm talking about integers here. Uh, choose any even integer for a, right? Um, and the reason I'm going to choose an even integer for a is I'm now going to choose C according to this equation, right? A times x plus 1 over 2, right? And uh, since A is even, right, when I divide it by 2, I'm still going to get an integer, right? So this means that C is uh, an integer. And at step 4, well, I'm going to choose B. Well, I haven't actually, B hasn't featured anyway yet, so I can just make B whatever I want here. 
to be a equals b plus c to make that right. Okay, so we'll just choose b equals a minus c, right? And this procedure always uh, gives um, a, b, and c integers uh, that satisfy the problem. Okay, let's satisfy the problem. Right, so actually all integer values of x are possible. Right? Um, now, uh, if you're at all confused by this, just follow it through with a few numbers. Right, so let's just pick any value of x, let's say 5, take an even integer for a, so let's take 4. If I choose c to be uh, 4 times uh, x plus 1, so 4 times 6 over 2, that's going to give me 24 over 2, which is 12. And then I'm going to um, take uh, b is a minus c. So b is going to be 4 minus 12, which is minus 8. Nothing says they have to be positive. So for this combination, right, we've got this is c, this is a, and this is x. Well, we do have uh, a times x plus b, which is 20 minus 8 is equal to 12. So a plus uh, 8x plus b is c. And also, uh, well, we know that uh, a is equal to b plus c because we chose b to be exactly that, right? 4 is equal to 12 plus minus 8. And you could do this with any value of x, and it would always work. So this sort of procedure shows us that it's always possible to um, get an answer for any value of x. As I say, lots of different ways you can come up with procedures because there are so many ways that you can make this work. Uh, but that's just one. You could, for example, just pick a value of a, right? You could work the whole time with a is 2 or a is 4 or a is 6 because, um, you know, we can see here it works whichever one you choose. Um, so uh, lots of ways to do it. That's just one. Um, quite a nice question, but it is a bit confusing. And I think, you know, because there are all these different cases, some of which don't really matter, um, it's quite hard and you know we don't necessarily really expect the answer to be all values of x so perhaps something we learn from this question is that that is a possible answer to questions and it's something we should be looking out for.